So, like, yeah, uh, Wakanda Forever is confirmed because it has a commercial showing it on my email that it's the first movie because they're showing it off proudly to have screen X scenes. And they're just establishing shots, you know, like when it comes into new areas that they're visiting because it's really easy to just do it with, you know, three cameras mounted, four screen X because you don't have to think very hard. And then when it's all digital, it's probably sometimes, you know, screen X as well. Because then the digital artists, they have to render it all different directions anyways, just to render it at all these days. So, um, the point here is, I was thinking about it, and, um, what was I just talking about in connection to this? Oh, yeah, um, fake wrestling. Yeah. yeah, fake wrestling, um, you could use Screen X for that, I mean... They have like chair blows that they want to fake or more real or something for the viewing audience, especially that's not there in the crowd. Yeah, uh, and that still works because even in five DX with like a you know sort of above sort of view of the the sky, yeah, huh. it still is only just more immersive because the center focus of it, like say somebody has a unique camera with all the different you know lenses pointing the correct directions or whatever yeah. sensors. Um, you're still directly behind the person. Like, when you're viewing it in the center where the primary part of your vision is, the camera's still behind them, so the, the spheroid is still behind <laughs> each person, you know, getting punched and everything. Yeah. So you can still fake all your fake wrestling moves and blows and stuff, but it looks hyper-immersive. Yeah. You can see Jonah's ball sweat on his face because he, you know, it, he did was flipped around and it runnel from his crotch up his abs onto his eyeballs, you know. Because yeah. he's so sweaty, and that's how gross it is, and that's why if 40X, and no thanks, and the 5DX even Well, yeah, me, no I mean, fake wrestling was always the government's way back in the day of testing out new technology. So, because, you know, fake wrestlers, they flow super hard. They're designed to, you know, use all the herbs. Yeah. Because they're the, dumb the, enough to keep doing it for no reason and screaming more The highest day. frequency they can get for however much electromagnetic interference, you know, for the technology of the period. Each time, broadcast cameras... They did have the best uh, frequently for fake wrestling over the years. Yes. So now I'm saying we need new fake wrestlers because these old guys, they aren't going to be able to, to perform worldwide in all theaters live in Screen X. Their temples will blow out. They'll just be blood <laughs> everywhere. They're not going to be able yeah, to we do need that. People who can do it, like, come on, thirty frames. Yeah, we need frame. like thirty frames. <laughs> still, still easy to fake all their stupid shit, but yeah, good enough that they can, you know, have a little better speed to everything. And I'm like, I'm even willing to say, guys, even to try it out at twenty five frames. Yeah, come on, thing. just go up a little bit and see how you feel. Like you got to at least do twenty five to start with. Twenty four is um, it, it makes motions planier. Yeah, and so you see a lot of actors shifting back. It's not and forth, good for fake wrestling. And they shift, and it's not yeah. healthy for their bodies either. As the energy hits <clears throat> them over time, working on camera for long periods, as they keep trying to planier different directions, and you'll see where they supposedly act, but there's always pause, yeah. moving slightly forward or backward, so that they can try to remain flat so they're not being imaged correctly because they don't like the amount of blood flow it forces yeah. through their face. Well, also, like, I'm just saying, fake wrestling in the future, you know, I'm saying projections that um, are pre-planned, of course, for movies are easy to do, but we have cameras that can map digitally and scan live in the, in the millisecond the fake wrestlers so then you can actually have moments where the cameras wherever and when they get within a distance range as they're wrestling around then it goes into like hologram mode as part of their flailing limbs and everything come out above the audience like they're huge and they're really wrestling epically right there and it really wows people. They'll never get used to that. Yeah, and all you have to have is just LiDAR mounted on poles yeah. facing inward at the ring, and then you can track them and do it. You it's know? pretty easy. It's easy these days. Yeah. It's it's fun, too. And you can do auto-enhancements to them, you know, in theaters while you watch, like, you know, apply different, you know, silly effects and stuff. Just yeah, you can ap apply, like, you know, Tekken punches and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, like flames that come exactly. Off when they move a certain speed, flames auto-trail their limbs, you know. Yeah. That kind of silly that stuff. That type of shit. So they're all practiced for yeah. what's going to happen and activate when they do different moves. Yep. 
And then once it's taken this seriously, you can, like, be... You can have do moves where they, like, get on green screen for the sake of the movie camera watchers around the world. And, like, they're on green strings and they go up all super high, like in Spongebob, and do stupid flips up in the air, up all the way to the stratosphere. You know, dumb, retarded moves that make no sense. Because I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. Yeah. And so, um, this is a lot safer, like... I'm trying to create stages here for fake wrestlers because I'm going to go, I want to do, personally, if I was going to fake wrestle, it's it's in the back of monster trucks. It's it's the full nine yards. That's how I'm going to do it, you know, full time, if I was going to do it. Because it's not dangerous enough. I need a thrill, you know. 